Hello, I am Jashikins, and yay! <laughs> Anyways, I just got caught up with Falling Skies. I missed two weeks worth of it, which seems to be a thing nowadays. I'll miss the week, like two weeks worth of episodes, and then I have to do a double episode, so yay! So, Falling Skies Season 2 and the episodes I'm reviewing in this video are Youngbloods and Love and Other Acts of Courage. And uh, Youngbloods, mind you, I'm not a big comic book reader, but I watch Linkara, he does a show atop the fourth wall. And he rants about young blood. So when I saw this title to this episode, I'm like, I don't know if you can see. I try to do the like the squinting eyes they have. <coughs> <coughs> so yeah. But these week's episodes were the last two weeks worth of episodes were good this time round. We see that the aliens are not on the same side, and it was interesting how. Well, that it seems you can resist being harnessed. So there's, if the alien is telling the truth, because mind you, these aliens are not exactly the most trustworthy bunch. But if it's true, then guess what? We now have allies in this fight against the aliens, and it's become a little more complicated. And of course, when I first hear that, that there's aliens that might help us fight the other aliens, I think of, you know, the old show V. I haven't seen, like, the new version of it. I've seen the old, a few episodes of the older version, so I'm like, wow, this reminds me of V. <laughs> I'm a nerd. But yeah, it turns out that the two lovebirds, Hal and Maggie, and again, I forgot to double check on the characters' names before I did this. So yeah, the, there seems to be a nice budding romance, and of course, there's one point in one of the episodes where they're sort of lying on top of each other to hide, and it's just like, I can see where this is going. But it didn't really go that direction, but I was like, yeah, that's a setup. That's a setup for something. But what, what I like is that Anne and Tom are really starting to kiss and such. And at the end of this, of, let me double check the name, of Love and Other Acts of Courage, they sort of go into the closet and like, found chicka wow wow. And. And I think it was the previous episode, Young Bloods, that they sort of were did a nice big kissing scene, getting all rough and stuff, and then someone interrupts. I was like, damn it! Yeah. But all in all, it's good. I, I think I actually enjoyed this season more than the first season. This one's starting to go into a better direction. It's it's developing the alien civilization a little more. And I love when things aren't, you know, black and white, where there's not just good guys and bad guys. Though I can't wait till Pope returns. <laughs> but yeah, and and Tom's relationship developing much more. Which, like, the whole first fucking season, I, like, just do it already. We all know you want to go at each other's bones like rabid dogs. It's God. And now they're starting to do that. Which I actually enjoy. <laughs> and then Hal, I believe that's the one that had been harnessed. Finally, they discover that, hey, he's actually been in contact with the aliens. The skitters. 
And but Hal does come up with a big point of why he didn't. He's like, basically, I don't want to fucking die. <laughs> so yeah, this seems to be, as I said, much better than the first season. And as long as the season two continues with this, it's going to be very, very good. So young bloods and love and other acts of courage. I like. It's an alien invasion. So yeah. And if you're watching this on YouTube, click the subscribe button. Click the like button. Stay away from the dislike button. Stay away from it. It, it, it does not exist. And now all of you are clicking the dislike button. And if you're viewing this on my blog, thank you just for watching. Share, you know, the video. Yeah. And maybe leave a comment for me because comments are nice and show that you, I guess, care or whatever. So, until next video, goodbye.